Hello everyone, this is Crystal Putoff back with our turkey egg that we are working on. Uh, I waxed the natural part of the shell where it has kind of the spotting. I etched it using cleaning, cleaning vinegar so that it was white, got rid of all the spots, and waxed this uh, design. So now what I am ready to do is I've dyed it in a color called mushroom. This is a Pisanki USA color. I wanted to go with the earth tone color, so that's why I chose that one. So now what I'm going to do is wax the areas that will be mushroom, and I have already started uh, waxing some of these. So uh, let's see, let's see. Um, there's this little wavy line inside the two lines of the star. We're gonna wax these things, and then we're gonna wax that. So um, like I said, I've done some of them. I'm going to show you how I do do these. I'm gonna start with the little wavy line, and for that one, I'm gonna use my super duper extra fine one. And I am going to, let's see how this works. Oh, yeah, it's gonna work. I'm gonna use my magnifier so I can see. So let's see how this works. These are wavy lines. So there's a little bit of wax on the bottom of that. Okay, so I kind of do each point of the star separately. And it might be a little hard to see this on the video, which is why I am using my magnifier because this is an extra fine, so it doesn't leave a really dark line, but it does leave under the micro or the, the microscope. <laughs> under the magnifier, I can see it. All right, so that one's done, and we'll do this one. This was the last one. I actually made a note of how many I did not do to, to that I left for the demonstration because normally I would do all the squiggly lines, and then I would do all the little bars, and then I would do all the little points, um, but for the purposes of demonstrating I had to do some of them in advance of the video or you'd be watching me do this for quite a while okay yeah so now um, I don't really need the magnifier I am going to use my medium kiska with some more wax in it and wipe it off see that's what that's what was on the outside of it that would have waited for the right time to blob on my egg so now i'm just going to fill in that bar like area and I'm using little overlapping circles to do that. And I had six of these, so there was one. Two. Three. So I have all of these on here, I have them all waxed, and before I put it in the dye color, I will double check that. Now the last thing we're going to do, and I'm going to switch to my fine Kiska. Just this 
one and I'm going to do these little things and it's just it's just a little teardrop that you fill in and they go where these things are not so they actually kind of go by the bar that you just filled in and the reason I'm doing this is it it's sort of mimicking what I did on a previous egg um, where I a, a similar um, color sequence I'll call it okay where's the other one there it is okay the dangers of not following <laughs> my typical order okay all right so now we have all of these on here okay and again I will double check this before I dye it but I am actually going to put some dye on it right now because I want these to have green on them so I'm going to use the Ukrainian gift shop light green which is normally a fairly bright color but I'm putting it over the mushroom so it's it will be more muted so let's let's start down here so I'm just gonna paint it on and it doesn't matter if I get it in areas where I don't want it because I will um, it only matters where I put the wax so I'm just gonna do one of these because they'll all be the same I like this color it's not a I, I'm gonna have some reds on this and I didn't want it to look uh, Christmassy but you know if it does it does it's not not like a big deal I, but I, I that was not my intent you know what sometimes my intent is not, not the way the egg turns out okay so now I'm going to blot it off and I'm going to use my fine kiska again Normally these sit right next to me, but that's where the, uh, the the camera is sitting, so I have to move some things out of the way. Now I'm going to, again, use the magnifier because where I want the wax to be is along the edges of what I drew there, and I'm going to go all the way up to the point. So I'm going to outline it and then I'll fill it in. I'm gonna do one more, and then I think you'll get the hang of it. Um, this one, and this one. So the white line at the bottom is I don't have green below that, if that makes sense. Let's see if, if this shows up on video. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to do that on all of them. Then um, what I will do is I will, I, I'm thinking my next color I'm going to use is brick, which is kind of a reddish brownish color. And then um, I'm either going to use red or dark red, and then my final color will be a really dark brown. But we're, you know, I got some work to do before I get there. So this is where we're at. Now, um, it is February 11th, and I am going to be teaching classes in Peoria, Illinois, starting on February 28th. In tw um, this is 2023. Uh, you can find the information about my classes on my website, which is uh, prayerfularts.com. I am also going to be making a series of videos demonstrating um, how I do the, the, these patterns that we're going to do in class, how I do them in detail 
so that if you aren't in the Peoria area, but you still want to take the classes, my goal is to have some online classes available that you can work on at your own pace. Now, the online classes is, this is an idea that is at this point completely in my head, but I'm going to get started working on it. And I will let you know when they're available. You can also um, watch my Facebook page, uh, Pisanki by Crystal, or my Instagram, prayerful.arts, because I'll have announcements about it there as well, the, the video classes. Um, so we're, we're going to see how well that works. I, this is something new for me, so I'm going to thank you in advance for your patience. And I would welcome feedback on them, too, um, since... Uh, you know, this is something new for me. And if I want to continue doing this, I, w I would really appreciate feedback. So thanks for watching this section of the turkey egg. When we come back, I will have dyed it in the next color. Like I said, I right now I'm leaning toward brick. Um, and then, uh, and then we'll just have one more color in the final color. So I'm really excited. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.